Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 22nd of 2018. Uh, just going to be a little general update, and then I'm going to talk about a, uh, a couple monitors that I have and a monitor that I'm going to get tomorrow. And then I want to talk about a movie that I really love, and uh, hopefully that's going to be... Uh, Hopefully that's going to be it. Hopefully I don't get sidetracked and <laughs> people are really generous to me because I get sidetracked like I am getting ready to do now and go wandering off talking about stuff and uh, get off of subject. So uh, first off, I have, or I'm going to have, well, I guess I have because I have uploaded my first podcast to this site, uh, and this is it you see here, and uh, as you can see, I there's this one podcast, which is 40 minutes, I believe, but actually what it is, it's the audio off of a YouTube video that I made, I think, yesterday. No, this is the 20th, so it had to be a couple of days ago. So I just took the audio off of that. Um, and that's the podcast. But I, I'm going to start doing just strictly podcast, you know, audio podcast. It'll be here. And if you wonder what all this on the screen is, I haven't had time to uh, change. I haven't had time to really get in there and change the theme. I think this is a theme that would be really good for a music site or something. So I need to go in and change this um, image. And what is the size of this image in case one of you wants to make a image for me. Nope, that's not it. That's for my, here it is. That image is 960 by 440. So if you are artistic or something, uh, I haven't had time to do it yet, but um, anyway, I'm gonna be doing the podcast, see how it goes. This is what it looks like and to get to it, you can see it up here. It's showmeblog.podbean.com. When I get time, I'm either going to make showmeblog.com the address that will take you there, although this would still get you there. Uh, or what I may just do is take showmeblog.com and fix it so if anybody goes to that, that it send them over to this. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just playing with it, and I enjoy doing that kind of uh, stuff. Uh, oh, yesterday I went to my heart doctor. I go once a year. I got there. I took Uber, of course. I don't have a car. And it was about, uh, what was it? I think that was $14 and something. I tipped $5. And so um, got there and I, they had canceled, I guess, my appointment. And I think they may have notified me on a card or something that they sent to me. And I have a bunch of stuff up on my whiteboards. And I had the dates, of course, written in for the stuff up over here that I have to be at. And some time went by and uh, I think I remember seeing a date of uh, July or something, and I thought, well, that's a mistake. They must have, that must be from when I went last year or something. I threw that away. So, no, I get there and there's no appointment for me. The, so I take a Uber back, and I think it was 17 something, and I tipped the driver. I think I tipped three. That was kind of an expense, and then I have to go back. Uh, July something I have to go back so 
Anyway, there is my podcast. I'm going to start doing that. Uh, give me some feedback when I start doing something. If you, if you do start checking it out. Um, I want to talk about a movie that I really like, and it's uh, this one here, The Man from Earth. This is a movie trailer. I wonder if I can get by with showing the entire thing. It's a... Uh, Maybe not. It's a minute and 30 seconds. Surely I can get by with showing a few seconds of it. What if a man from the upper Paleolithic survived until the present day? You know what could happen? Yeah, the pancreas turns over cells every 24 hours, the stomach lining, in three days the entire body. In seven years, but the process falters. Now, if a quirk in his immune system led to perfect detox, perfect renewal, then yeah, he could uh, duck decay. We were just talking about a caveman who survives until the present time. <laughs> and he has an egg. Okay. So that was uh, 30 seconds of it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I had difficulty hearing it. I have some hearing problems. I had difficulty uh, with the sound when I watched it, but I really liked the idea of it. And uh, they have, there is a, and it's not released yet, I don't believe. I mean, it's released. I mean, it's, you know, I think in the movie theaters now, I believe. And so they have a new idea, because I know people were talking about it. And that's uh, The Man from Earth, Holocene Teaser Trailer. Um, and this review is 1 minute and 24 seconds. What if a man from the Upper Paleolithic survived until the present day? You didn't see any of the new uh, movie there. They just showed you some clips, Neil. But by the way, did you notice the difference between the, the video quality or the movie quality of it? That's the neat thing. Um, well, um, the old version here the man from Earth, I had some difficulty understanding it because of the way the audio was. And they remastered it, the old one. They remastered the old one, and it looks oh much, much better. Really good quality. And the audio sounded better. And at the end of, not the end of this trailer, but at the end of this remastered uh, Man from Earth, which is on Netflix, I believe, because I watched it the other day. I've watched this movie several times, but I really enjoyed it the other day because of its remastering, and it was so much better, and the sound was better. But at the end of this, uh, the old version, I'm sure that's the reason they remastered it. Is they then they show you the trailer for the new, the new version, which I guess is called the Man from Earth. Hollow scene. Uh, I heard some people or read someplace that uh, people like myself, fans who really liked the old version did not like this this remake now apparently the remake is they didn't just you know try to make a new one uh, it's sort of a continuation it's a 
But this guy in it, uh, whatever his, his name is, who starred in the old one, is also in the new one. One of the interesting things is in this, the first version, uh, he is supposed to be 35 years of age, and he doesn't age, and every 10 years he has to move on. Or people are going to wonder why the guy isn't getting older. Of course, in this new version that he's in, he is older, and he looks older. And uh, I think probably what they'll how they'll explain that, because I think I saw in the uh, trailer, it looked like he was putting makeup on. So I think what they're going to say in there is that uh, instead of moving every 10 years, or in a specific case, he doesn't want to move for some reason, and that he makes himself look older. So anyway, but anyway, this is a great movie, I think. Um, really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed watching the remastered version a lot more. On to the next subject. Um, I have, and it really come down to price, I forget what I paid for it. Uh, right here is this LG 25-inch wide monitor. It is a 25-inch monitor but it is uh, 24 inches in length. And it does uh, 2560 by 1080. And so I can have, well, I could put four different things on here and whatever, more than that even, because there's a utility. Well, let me click on it wherever it is. Here it is. Here it is. So... Let me move this over here. Go to uh, split screen. So, you know, you can do, there's a two screen, but big screen here, small. One. So here's, now here's what, I, this is what I use over on, usually over on this other monitor here. I never use this. I haven't used this yet, but I could see where I might. So these are the options that you have with when you have this these widescreen LG monitors, and there's some other uh, also. Oops, let me get it back to uh, off. Okay. So this. Uh, uh oh, what did I do? Help. Oh, maybe this will work. No, that's not going to work. Um, let me go to small. Let me drag this. There we go. I messed this up some. This should, I haven't had this, well, problem before, but whenever I try to, uh, whenever I try to demonstrate something, I always mess it up. Oh, I need to make this smaller. Whoops, not that. I need to make this smaller. Here we go. Up like that. Drag this over here. This is better. Now, um, so like I told you, uh, this monitor here, it does 2560 by 1080, so I can have two, you know, browser screens open, or maybe more of something and I really like working with it. It's kind of small. I mean, you know, uh, now this is my new 4k monitor that I got a couple weeks ago. Now the 4k monitor is, uh, 20, uh, seven inches and it does 4k, but I've watched a few things in 4k and so far I haven't been impressed. And I've just been keeping it in 1080 or 1920 by 1080 format. And it is a 27 inch monitor, but it's uh, 25 inches wide. And of course, uh, when I kick it into 4K, 
uh, it's uh, 3840 by 2160. And I really was looking forward to getting it and looking at 4K for the first time in my life. And so far, and I've only checked a few things. The uh, sample 4K videos that I saw on YouTube were really excellent. But the movies that I've watched a uh, few and I think a TV show or two that are in 4K, I really wasn't, I really wasn't impressed. Like I said, I've been keeping it in 1080p. Well, tomorrow I'm getting a new monitor. And that is another extra wide monitor by the same company, also by LG. And that's the LG 29UM68. And it's a 29 inch monitor, ultra wide. They call these ultra wide. Well, this one is ultra wide. And tomorrow, I guess this one will be ultra wide. And uh, it is, uh, it will be in the same format as, which is what's 21 uh, by nine format. And it will be also like this monitor here, the smaller one uh, is uh, 2560 by 1080. The 29 inch that I'm going to get will also be 2560 by 1080. Now it's going to be though 28 inches wide. I have a big desk. This desk, sort of hard to measure. I measured it from the front side. It, it's a desk that rounds off, you know, the edges go around. So I just measured on this side. So it's not exactly, it'll be a couple inches off on the back. But uh, this desk is a big desk and it's 75 inches. And the, uh, so I'm, uh, when I get tomorrow, when I get the new monitor, the 29 inch monitor, I'm going to put it, you know, put it there in front of me and disconnect and move a little bit this one and just see what it's like working with a much bigger monitor that does this uh, format of uh, 2560 by 1080. And then I'm not sure what I'm, I'm going to see how that works. And then I may have these two extra, you know, ultra wides next to each other. Or I may have the new ultra wide 29 inch here and maybe I'll move my 4K, which I don't use as 4K really, maybe move it over here. I'm not sure about that, but tomorrow I should get the new monitor. Um, I think that's what I'll put links. Well, I guess I'm not sure if I'll put them today. I probably will. I'll put links to these monitors. Uh, the ultra wide, you should think about um, whether it's right for you, you know, depending on your eyesight, depending on what you do. Uh, the ultra wide are, monitors are uh, good for, I'm told, for gaming uh, because you can see more of, you know, the area that you're fighting in or whatever's going in, but I'm not sure all games uh, fully take advantage of the 21 by 9 factor, but uh, I'm not really into gaming that much. But you should, you know, consider what, what you need, what you want, you know, what you're doing, about your eyesight and all those type of things. Um, there again, that's, oh, no, that's not it. Well, that's the podcast, but that's the end where I go in and make changes and stuff. So, well, let's jump over to, um, then, then I will let you go. Heck, this has only been 19 minutes for me. That's, it, it takes me 19 minutes to uh, usually tell you what my name is. Okay, we're going to YouTube and then I'm going to go to, 
Well, this is my channel, by the way. And most people going to look at YouTube videos, by the way, as we've discussed before, they don't usually come to the person doing, they don't usually come to their channel. You either get notified or you just uh, do a search or uh, something like, you know, something like that. By the way, what I found out was that <clears throat> when I post my uh the podcast to uh, Podbean, they post it on the audio on YouTube. And here's what it looks like. Hello, uh, Jim, uh, Jim Howard here, here in Fort, Fort Worth, Worth, Texas. Texas. Today's, Today's date, date it is. is. So um, I'll have to. I think I still want it to be posted here since it, it's automatic. I have it set up to do it automatically. Uh, I just don't want to cause any confusion for you because if somebody, well, it just depends. Maybe easier if you're driving or out uh, to get it off of uh, YouTube, the audio only, or if you're home or whatever, then you can watch uh, because it's right here. Also is, this is, in this case, too full. Um, this is, I took the audio off of that, off of, from this to make that podcast, <clears throat> which I'm not going to be doing all the time. I'm, the podcast are going to be uh, along a different line or whatever. So, um, I think that's, uh, I did want to mention something else. Uh, there again, I'm going to get sidetracked a little bit here. I'm trying to think if I should say this or not. I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, they had that shooting here in Texas uh, a few days ago. And the information now out is that the uh, police shootout with the subject who surrendered <clears throat> was 25 minutes. So, you know, we don't, I don't think we know all the details yet, but as <clears throat> a police, I, and I guess, I guess he was shooting back. I don't know, <clears throat> but the police were shooting for 25 minutes. Um, that's a long shootout. And I'm very much afraid that perhaps the police may have accidentally hit <coughs> some of the students. They're, and I'm sure they're going to check into that. You know, they're going to do a thorough investigation. And, uh, but that's what I'm kind of worried about. Uh, police have to learn that, you know, I was never in the military. I tried to get in a couple of times and they keep, didn't want me. Uh, curse them. Um, I know later that uh, I would not have made a good candidate for the military. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, though. Uh, but if you're in the military, yeah, somebody's shooting someplace. You know, blast away, I guess, at them, you know, empty your clips and uh, send a whole bunch of rounds down that way to keep them ducked down or keep them from shooting or something like that. But in a environment here in the United States or in some other country where you're dealing with situations like this, you can't be just blasting away at some place where you think, or where you know the subject is, you're supposed to be uh, attempting to shoot that bad guy. And you have to be aware when you're shooting of where your rounds are going to go. Uh, there are... Uh, I was only shot at one time. Um, 
there are were many times when I was confronting a subject um, and when I if I had the opportunity sometimes you just get out of your vehicle and you walk up and then you're confronted with the subject but when I had the the choice I was always you know where is this subject that I'm going to approach and con make contact with and am I going to walk up this way to him or am I going to go around so you know what is behind this person you know I'm, I'm walking up this individual are there homes and maybe a playground or something right behind this individual if I approach him from another direction if he shoots at me I can shoot back at him whereas if I approach you know this subject and uh, there's a playground with kids on it and he fires at me unless I know that I'm going to hit him I can't I can't fire and uh, take the chance that a round is going to not hit him but hit somebody that's innocent I just can't do it I have to I have to look for uh, some other way I have to look for cover for myself and hold my fire or you know I have to move or do something I just can't be sending rounds down down range uh, at this individual if it's going to hit an innocent person I'm fearful because of this shooting the other day that took 25 minutes but the police will do an a thorough investigation and the information will eventually you know eventually come out but I've seen so many videos on the news or I've seen so many videos of on YouTube and you'll see a, a lot of them are like um, maybe a car chase where they confront the police confront somebody and he's in a car and the police will be coming from you know all sides and then the police start you know blasting away at this guy uh, sometimes they hit each other you know <laughs> you just can't put yourself into that position to be you know they're blasting away. I've seen them in these videos blasting away and just you know you just can't do that so let's hope that there wasn't an accident or you know that some officer didn't accidentally shoot somebody else so far uh, I'm just strictly going by the fact that there was a 25 minute shootout and it just makes me wonder so thank you very much for for watching